she can't have fish and she can't have pork and we're out of lamb in the kitchen. And she wants to know well, what she can have. Well, she's to the wrong restaurant. Nothing. Only what's uh... on the menu. Only what's on the menu. Only what's on the menu. Only what's on the menu. There are now only a few minutes left. For Alex and Nancy, the pressure is on to serve their remaining tables the highest quality of food they can. You have to now gather as many points as possible. Give it up, one. The green, let's go! Let's yes. go! Yes. Hey! With just two minutes to go, Nancy finishes serving all her diners. Fine. All yeah. table done. Thank okay. you very all much. All table done. We've done it. Desperate to gather as many points as possible and win the one place in the final, Alex decides to ignore Marco and tries to accommodate the vegetarian on his last table. Yeah, that's the best thing I've made! <laughs> something I feel special so uh, yeah it's good the semi-final service is over no oh, thank you thank you the three celebrities managed to feed all their diners but Alex and Nancy did buy minutes of Marco's time end of service, end of service. well done you did well to Pelly so did you Alex and Nancy, you did really well. Thank you. I'm sure you surprised yourself I by how well you did. <laughs> Alex, how did you find it? This game is about getting into the truck first. If you don't win the challenge, you know, I don't see how you're going to win this. So, Pele, how was your evening? It was great that things weren't sent back. I think if they were sent back... Did you have anything sent back? Nothing. You did well. You got the food out very quick. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thanks, Dad. Well done. Cheers. Well done, Nancy. Coming up, the diners score the celebrities. We waited so long, I really would have eaten anything. <laughs> and Marco delivers his verdict. You'll be going through to the final. Coronation Street actress Tupele Dorgu, actor Alex Ferns, and socialite Nancy Delolio have just completed service for 25 diners each. It's now time for the diners to mark their scorecards. The maximum score is 100 points. I mean, it was OK, but we waited so long, I really would have eaten anything. Presentation, absolutely fantastic. There was no flavour at all through the lamb, so it was just kind of... Very, very happy, I would say. Yeah, it's been very good. Not amazing, not bad. I think it might be a bit overcooked. Presentation on the whole is OK. The lowest scoring celebrity will automatically leave the competition. Marco will then decide who will go through to the grand final. It's time for his verdict. Well done. You fed all the diners. <laughs> Tell me, Tipelli, how was it for you? Um, service was a lot better this time than last time. Uh, I served everyone, no food was returned, and I served everyone with time to spare, so that was an improvement for me. It's good. I'm pleased. I don't know what it tasted like then. Alex, tell me. Yeah. How is it for you? It was um, it was a nightmare. So uh, I'm really happy that they even ate it, some of it. Nancy. Yes. And how did you find it? Exhausting, tiring, but I enjoy. I found that I I delivered my food. Didn't my diners were happy. So I'm very I'm very surprised myself. Alex. Yeah. You scored 57 points. Oh, OK. You had two minutes of my time. Yeah, oh, yes. So after deductions, you scored 55. OK. Cool. Nancy. <coughs> you scored 66 points. But you did use 30 minutes of my time. So after deductions, you scored 53 points. <laughs> to 
Pele. You scored 52 points. No! <laughs> and you used none of my time. What? To Pele, it comes as a shock because you worked very hard. Thank you. I'm so sorry, but, but the diners are the people who give the marks. And maybe you shouldn't have finished 20 minutes early. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should have paced yourself. It's been nice cooking with you, Tapelli. Thank you, you too. Bye bye. Thank you. Nancy scored 53 points, Alex scored 55. But it's now up to Marco to decide who will be going through to the grand final. Simple question, Alex. Yeah. Why do you think you should go through to the final? I've said right from the beginning, I want to win. I, I'm a mm. competitor and I, I, like, I like winning. And I, I don't mind losing, but, I, but it's, yeah, it's, it sucks a bit. So I'd rather win. Nancy, yes, Mark. why should you go through to the final? It's been an incredible experience and very surprising I agree. myself. <laughs> and um, why should I go to the final? It would be wonderful to be there. Let's not forget, I saw what went on. Yeah. The Danes only saw what was on the plate. It's the toughest decision I've had to make in the competition so far. The diners say that Alex should go through. But what swings the balance yeah. is your competitive spirit. Alex, you'll be going through to the final. Yeah. beyond any imagination of difficulties to be held there in the kitchen. I suppose I was a bit shocked, really, because the way Alex was talking, I assumed he'd have got the last, you know, the bottom vote and that maybe Marco would have put Nancy through. I was prepared for that, but I didn't think I would get such a, a low mark. I don't like giving up. I'm not a quitter in any shape or form. I'm so stoked, man. I just want to win this thing now. Next week is the second semi-final. TV presenter Donna Rare. No problem here whatsoever. Former WAG Ellen Rivers. Head out now. Astrologer Russell Grant. This whole place could blow up. And actress Deborah Stevenson. No, I'm sorry, sorry. Face the heat in Marco's kitchen burnout. When I said to you, I think there's something wrong with the oven. Yeah, right. I was right. so right. I must be psychic. <laughs> Any act, any age. Ant and Deck are back with Britain's Got Talent tomorrow at 8. And it seems six may have a double. The Prisoner is straight after at 9.